Alright, in this video I'm going to explain what lupus is, what it does, and some tests and treatments for it. Lupus is an autoimmune disorder, basically where the autoimmune system, where the immune system goes overboard, unlike AIDS where there is none. In lupus the immune system goes overboard and it pretty much the body is allergic to itself and the immune system attacks everything. It can be lupus for the skin only or it can be lupus SLE which attacks everything or it could be lupus that attacks just the joints and muscles. Lupus SLE is the worst kind because it attacks everything. Eventually it makes your heart inflamed, pericarditis, and it attacks the kidneys and can cause kidney failure. And lupus never goes away, it never gets better. It can go into remission but all they can do pretty much is to try and suppress it with autoimmune or with immunosuppressives chemotherapy or prednisone to try and make it go into remission but it never goes away you always have it there is also another kind of lupus which is drug induced lupus which can be caused by different kinds of drugs. I'm not sure all of which ones do, but I know there is a drug induced kind. And they can test for lupus. Usually a rheumatologist does these tests. It's called an ANA test, anti-nuclear antibody, and a specific number coincides which can go up or down. Usually 80 is about normal. Mine is 250, which is pretty high, and that indicates whether you have lupus or not. They can also do a sed rate test, which indicates inflammation, and there's a number that goes with that, but I'm not sure what it is. They just told me that mine was pretty high right now, and they put me on prednisone. For, for the lupus right now. And the, the prednisone seems to really be helping help it go into remission because I was getting to the point where I couldn't move even with a walker and I have a puppy and I really don't want to get rid of her because I don't know she lays by my feet and she's really a buddy and it's hard taking care of anything even yourself when you have lupus let alone trying to take a bath sometimes and I don't mean to be gross but Sometimes I have to go a week or two without bathing because I hurt so damn bad I can't do nothing. And any of you watching this that have lupus will understand exactly what I'm talking about. Now last week I couldn't even wrap presents for my niece. I had to have my mom do it. She's finally starting to understand a little bit. Her friends don't understand and I really don't give a shit that they don't understand. That's their problem. I don't care. But she's starting to understand a little bit. I've been sending her emails about lupus and I sent her a few videos on it so she's understanding it's a little more than just fibromyalgia or arthritis. That it's actually an autoimmune disorder where the immune system pretty much eats up your body. I mean there's so much damage that lupus can do. There's people that are bedridden because of lupus and they're on chemo and it's just as bad as cancer. And in fact some doctors even misdiagnose lupus as a type of cancer because it, lupus is called the great mimicker disease. It mimics other diseases and actually I think lupus should be a type of symptom because there's so many diseases that it can cause to go along with it and so much stuff you know and I'm still battling rashes. This one don't want to go away the ones on my cheeks are getting a little better. They're not so red. A little bit yet, but not much. But the rashes aren't so bad except that they itch like crazy. And I do use a humidifier at night. Otherwise my skin cracks all over the place and it bleeds. And um, as far as eating I try to eat more protein I don't know if that helps or not but I also have type 2 diabetes and um, <laughs> the worst part about all this is I have polycystic ovary syndrome 
which they got me on hormone replacement therapy for because I don't have estrogen. And estrogen is one of the things that makes lupus worse. Can you believe that? I mean, estrogen makes it worse. So I can't even believe they put me on hormones. And actually a lot more women than men get lupus. It's very rare. Men can get lupus, but it's very rare. And it's usually women that get it. Usually children, anywhere from being children into their 30s usually is when lupus strikes. And, um, but lupus also causes fatigue, you know, where you pretty much just got to drag yourself. And some doctors just call it chronic fatigue syndrome. It's a lot more than that. It's a lot more than arthritis, you know. And lupus is more serious than a lot of people realize it is, you know. And not a lot of doctors understand it. I've been to doctors that don't understand it all. And I've been to a few that think I'm faking. And the only one that really seems to understand is my rheumatologist. Because I was to one about a week ago that was a total, excuse my language, but was a total asshole. Didn't understand nothing. And he said, I don't know why you're here even. You got some fibromyalgia issues, but I don't understand why you're here even. So you got fibromyalgia, fatigue, and some rashes, but you're not sick. You don't need to be here. You know, I mean, he's just an asshole. And another problem I have, I don't know whether it's from lupus or not, but I also get strictures, like, in my colon and that. But, you know, lupus can affect your your um, abdominal cavity, too. It can inflame the tissues in your abdominal cavity, and it can cause severe abdominal pain which is something I've been dealing with is severe abdominal pain I've been dealing with rashes and I have and I have a wound here that I have had all summer um, alright if I can find this here I have had this thing all summer And it's, there it is, it's not healing at all. It's not healing, it just, it keeps cracking open and bleeding and then, you know, I have a hernia and they don't want to do surgery because it takes me forever to heal. And I don't know, maybe that's part of lupus too, but anyhow, I've, I hope I answered some of you guys' questions about what lupus is and how they can treat it and test for it. One of the more common drugs is the methotrexate. I'm on that and prednisone. And um, they can also use anti-malarials to treat this. But anyhow, I hope I answered some of you guys' questions. And please feel free to comment. Thank you.